Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the GDPR compliance checklist and we are also going to talk about its audit requirements and how to actually conduct this audit. So let's start this video with what actually is GDPR. Well, GDPR rules prevent organizations from acquiring user information without consent. You must gain the user's permission to collect and use their data. Above all, the GDPR aims to provide complete privacy protection and allow citizens to choose who can gather, analyze and use their data. Now that we are familiar with what GDPR is, now let's talk about the 10 GDPR compliance requirements. So starting off this list, we have number 1, which is fair, transparent and lawful data processing. Well, the GDPR requires organizations to document lawful reasons when processing users' data. First, you should inform individuals about collecting personal data. Then, you should provide valid reasons why your organization collects and processes personal data. After all, all data processing must be based upon a legitimate purpose. Number two, we have the review of data protection policies. Now, in order to be compliant with the GDPR, you must implement a data protection policy. If you already have a data protection policy, then you must review it regularly and keep it up to date. Number three, we have to conduct our data protection impact assessment or DPIA. Now, the organization that handles extremely sensitive data must conduct a data protection impact assessment DPIA. Now, this DPIA examines the possible impact of your organization's data processing activities on the users. Additionally, a DPIA is a cybersecurity risk assessment process that helps your organization identify and minimize the data protection risk. Number four on our list, we have the implementation of proper data security measures. Well, this one is pretty straightforward. GDPR requires organization to implement proper data security measures. You must implement appropriate cybersecurity tools and measures to prevent unauthorized users from accessing the data. Ideally, you should implement network and data security tools, access controls, and insider risk management tools. Number five, we have the implement of users' privacy right. Now, the GDPR provides users with various privacy rights to ensure they have control over their own data. Now, in this essence, there are eight rights that your organization should grant data users and all of these have been listed onto the screen. Number six, we have the documentation of your GDPR compliance. Now, keeping a proper documentation is crucial for a GDPR compliance. In that particular document, you have to demonstrate to the authorities that all of the data is processed legally within the rules. You can keep a GDPR diary map showing that your organization's data flow process complies with the set rules according to the GDPR compliance. Number seven, we have to appoint a data protection officer. Now, a data protection officer or a DPO is a person or entity contracted to oversee compliance and stay in touch with any data breach risk. A DPO is mandatory if the organization is a public body or an authority. The roles of the DPO include monitoring data handling procedures, acting as an intermediary between the organization and the GDPR regulators, advising the organization about the best GDPR compliance practices, and even providing accurate data protection impact assessments. Number 8 on the requirements or the checklist, we have the report for data breaches. Now, the GDPR requires users to report data breaches instantly. Both processors and controllers must report data breaches within 72 hours of detection. However, this is not mandatory only in the case when the incident does not harm the rights and the freedom of users. At number 9 of this requirement checklist, we have the employee training. Now, the GDPR requires organizations to train employees on the requirement and data protection procedures to minimize the risk of data breaches. Now, this includes educating all employees on personal data privacy, potential cybersecurity threats, and the consequence of non-compliance. At number 10, we have to assess the third-party risks regularly. Now, the GDPR expects organization to assess the security risk posed by third parties on a regular basis. For this, the organization should implement a remediation mechanism to prevent data breaches due to working with third parties. Anyways, this concludes the GDPR audit requirements. The next step is how to actually conduct the GDPR audit. Well, the first step to conduct the GDPR audit is to create a GDPR audit plan. Now, this plan is a set of step-by-step -step written and actionable processes on what to cover during the audit. Now, the organization needs to be aware of the data it holds throughout its life cycle. Number two, for the requirements of our audit, we have the check for GDPR compliance gaps. Now, this means that after creating an audit report, you need to review your current GDPR compliance program. You should review the data processing records, the data transfer mechanism, user processes, privacy principles, and the security controls. Ideally, this is a discovery phase to enable you to discover whether the organization aligns with the GDPR rules or not. At number three, we have to remediate the compliance gaps. Basically, once the auditor has identified the compliance gaps, the organization should take a risk-based remediation approach. Now for this, the organization should check the reports against the GDPR requirements and the principles and fix any non-compliant areas. And the last step is to test the remediation efforts. 
So this final process involves checking whether the remediation process eliminates the compliance gaps or not. You must test whether the organization systems and processes meet the GDPR requirements. Now once you complete this process, you can conduct an audit to ensure that your organization meets all of the requirements. Now additionally, you can check out Infra SOS. Because with Infra SOS, you can check if your Office 365 users and the Active Directory users are compliant for GDPR and other compliance frameworks. Now the link for this Infra SOS is in the description box, so make sure to check it out. And that also brings us to the end of this video. Now if you want to learn more information about the GDPR compliance list, then you can simply check out the blog link in the description box. And if you've learned anything new with this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.